So I want to talk about uh, connectivity battle royale, Ethernet versus InfiniBand. And um, I referenced and Matt referenced the Forbes article that, that we published recently with Patrick. And, you know, from Patrick's perspective, he, he spent time there at their at their AI day. Um, and, you know, as I kind of read through kind of, um, you know, all of the information that, that he shared with Matt and I, it became pretty evident to me that um, that they're making a pretty strong case for a positioning Ethernet for for next generation AI workloads. And so, you know, it's, it's no secret that that NVIDIA purchased Mellanox about four years ago, $7 billion, you know, big transaction. And, and certainly Mellanox was focused on Ethernet, but they developed the IntenniBand um, interconnect. And that's what NVIDIA has been positioning for years as the premier, right, Matt, supercomputing, um, and now AI workload interconnect. But, um, you know, Broadcom talked about a lot of uh, maturity in its merchant silicon with, with Jericho and, and SmartNix and, and that sort of thing. And when you, when you sort of look at what the company is claiming from um, a throughput perspective, performance perspective, and also what's really interesting, Matt, I, th I think I shared this internally with the team, right after we published that article, Gartner came out with yeah. their analysis around basically stating the same thing. So I'm wondering if they, if they copied some of no. our insights and research, but speaking to, to Ethernet being well positioned to support these AI workloads. They wouldn't do that. I think no. that's, uh, I think that's the, the big question is, I have, and I, I don't, I think I've said this a million times, I'm not a networking guy. When I was in yeah. IT, I looked at the networking guys as they were from a different planet, um, right? We were the cool guy. They were the nerds among the nerds. Uh, mm -hmm. They were still playing Dungeons and Dragons. So, um, so I say that all that to say I'm not a networking expert, but I do wonder, given the legacy and the penetration of Ethernet, you know, is it a foregone conclusion that Ethernet is the AI, if pr provided you can deliver enough throughput, right? Yeah. Is Ethernet the, is it the de facto standard for, you know, next generation AI and other workloads? Because AI is just another, another stop along the way. There's quantum and other things that are coming after. Is well, Ethernet? 90% of um, AI right now use InfiniBand. I get it. I get it. But I get it. But, you know, from a when we talk about enterprise adoption, right, what's the what is the what's the percentage of adoption or what's the ratio of Ethernet to InfiniBand in the in the um, enterprise? You have to look at what's important for an AI workload, uh, bandwidth and latency. Well, and InfiniBand's got really exceptionally low latency. Sure. And then you have to talk about affordability and you have to talk about the cost of the cost of replacing and the cost benefit that comes with that. And and when you look at AI, right? Um and this is this is the question I have. I'm not saying I'm right or wrong. I'm just I'm yeah. curious and I, I am I'm curious based on kind of knowing how resistant to change enterprise IT is. Um you know, is the is is Ethernet Ethernet not going to be able to rise to the occasion of supporting the long tail of AI, which is really the inference side, right? Because training is a it's not a one time thing, but it's certainly not a it's not the long tail of AI. Yeah. Um, is Ethernet going to be able to support those enterprise use cases for inference at the edge in the core data center out you know out in the wild? Or is or is or is it not? I don't know. You guys know this better than I do. Yeah. What do you think, Paul? Uh, I, I mean, I, and it certainly has a chance. I mean, uh, they've got um, they, they've got eight hundred gigabit ports compared to four hundred on infinite band. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of you have to kind of balance everything out. Yeah, yeah. You know, Matt, you brought up the cost point. I mean, InfiniBand is considerably more expensive than Ethernet. Ethernet, how long has Ethernet been around? Four decades, five decades, you know? Um, you know, <laughs> 
So, I mean, it's, it's got the install base and, you know, I think if Broadcom is successful in its execution and can get the latency where it needs to be and the throughput where it needs to be, which it appears to be on the right track, um, it, it just, you know, when, whenever you can offer a customer's choice, it's a yeah. good thing, you know, from my perspective. And so let, let that sort itself out. 